LXL A-Level Maths Statistics Summer 2019 Question 5. A machine puts liquid into bottles of perfume. The amount of liquid put into each bottle, d millilitres, follows a normal distribution with mean 25 millilitres. Given that 15% of bottles contain less than 24.63 millilitres, we need to find to two decimal places the value of k such that p of d between 24.63 and k is equal to 0.45. So we know that the probability of d less than 24.63 must equal 0.15 because that's the 15% of bottles containing less than 24.63. We're going to standardize this. So we're going to have the probability that z is smaller than our 24.63 minus the mean of 25 all over the standard deviation is still equal to 0.15. We can now use the inverse normal function on our calculators with an area of 0.15, which is the probability that we've got a standard deviation of 1 and a mean of 0. These are just our normal mean and standard deviation for the standard normal distribution. Putting them into the inverse normal function tells us that the probability of z smaller than negative 1.0364 is equal to 0.15. Hence, our fraction must be equal to negative 1.0364. Rearranging this, we get our standard deviation is 24.63 minus 25 all over negative 1.0364 or 0.357. We can now go back to the probabilities that we need. So we've got the probability that D is less than 24.63. That's equal to 0.15. We've also got the probability that D is between 24.63 and K, which is equal to 0.45. So between them, these two inequalities, they cover everything from zero up to k. So the probability that d is smaller than k must be our 0.15 and our 0.45 added together, which is 0.6. Now again, we're going to standardize this. So the probability that z is smaller than k minus the mean of 25 over the standard deviation that we've just worked out of 0.357 is equal to 0.6. And then using the inverse normal function on the calculator, this time with an area of 0.6, tells us that k minus 25 over 0.357 is equal to 0.2533, which rearranging gives us k equal to 25.09. A random sample of 200 bottles is taken. Using a normal approximation, we need to find the probability that fewer than half of these bottles contain between 24.63 millilitres and k millilitres. So we've got that the probability that d lies between 24.63 and k is 0.45. So we can use this to make a binomial distribution with 200 trials and a probability of 0.45. As the question says, we're going to approximate this to a normal distribution. And to do that, we put it here where the mean is the number of trials, 200, times by the probability 0.45 and the variance is the 200 times 0.45 times by 1 minus a probability of 0.45. So we have a normal distribution of mean 90 and variance 49.5. As we're going from a discrete model, the binomial, to a continuous model in the normal, we also need to make our continuity correction. So we want probability that fewer than half of the bottles, so half of 200, but we want y less than 100. To correct this, we then put our new distribution, w smaller than 99.5. One way to try and remember this is y is strictly smaller than 100. So when we put in our correction, w has to get smaller than that, hence it's gone down to 99.5. So putting this into our calculator using the normal function with mean 90, variance 49.5 and the 99.5 from here we get an answer of 0.9115. The machine is adjusted so that the standard deviation of the liquid put in the bottles is now 0.16 millilitres. Following the adjustments Hannah believes that the mean amount of liquid put in each bottle is less than 25 millilitres. She takes a random sample of 20 bottles and finds the mean amount of liquid to be 24.94 millilitres. 
For part C, we need to test Hannah's belief at the 5% level of significance, and we need to state our hypotheses clearly. So the first thing to do is to state these hypotheses. Our null hypothesis is what we've started with, that the mean is equal to 25. Now looking at the question, Hannah believes that the amount of liquid has gone down, it's less than 25. So our alternate hypothesis is that mu is smaller than 25. We're now going to model this as a normal distribution. So there's our mean of 25 and our variance of the standard deviation 0.16 squared. But we're taking a random sample of 20 bottles. So to model our random sample D bar, we keep the same mean of 25, but we divide our variance through by the size of the sample, which is 20. We're now going to put these into our calculator to work out the probability that the amount of liquid is lower than 24.94. To do that, we're going to use a lower bound of zero, upper bound of the 24.94 that we're working with. Our standard deviation is the square root of our variance, so 0.16 over root 20 and our mean of 25. Putting this in, we get the probability that D bar smaller than 24.94 is 0.0468. Now we're working at a 5% level of significance. So comparing these, well, 0.0468 is smaller than 0.05 or 5%. So we can see that the probability of D bar being smaller than our new mean is lower than 5%. It's a very small amount. Hence, we can reject our original hypothesis and say there is sufficient evidence to support Hannah's belief. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to the Doing Maths channel or check out some more of my videos by clicking on the links here.